Hello everybody, this is Dr. Dozer MD, and today I've got a patient on the surgery table ready to get carved up. Let me take a look at the file here. It uh let's see. Uh phone, let me call back later. Alright. As you can tell here, I've forgotten my key. Err. Um, there we go. Oh, okay, perfect. That's how I move my hands. Sometimes you forget about that. Um, as you can see, here, it's actually written, I'm sure. The patient was admitted with heavy chest pain and uncontrollable coughing and wheezing. Doctor's diagnosis, kidney transplant. Alright, the first step to any good surgery, students is your pre-surgery beer. Perfect. Now we're ready to get weird. Let's get the sheet off of this man. I see the problem already. This man has a whole bunch of worms inside of him. Well, those will need to come out. Let's see what I've got here for tools. Big saw. Let's give it a go. Per Hang on, let me just... Okay, you can sit there for a minute. Blanket, what are you doing here? This is surgery. You don't belong on this man's worms. Interesting enough. I it, it, interesting. It I never said in the file that the man had worms. Let's just, uh... Let's cut these out here. Mm -hmm. My hand appears to be getting stuck. I know what the problem is. I need to use the drill. Laser. What is that thing? Never seen that before. There we go. What could go wrong here? It's just kind of... The key to murdering worms is to stab drills through them repeatedly. Really get down in there to make sure that the... The worms are dead inside before you remove them. Now that we've done that, we can take the syringe and remove the worms by force. Screw that. We're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. By yanking it and dropping your watch inside of the cavity. Looks like that heart's keeping perfect time. That's what we want. The second step to any good successful surgery is to take your orange burst. Is to take your orange burst. Is to take your get the fuck out of here. To take your orange. To take your orange burst. Needed more beer. Man's losing blood pretty quickly. So I might as well dope myself out and drop that inside of him. Now, the last thing you do is you spoon out the watch you'd priorly dropped in there. Have I mentioned I'm not a surgeon? I am... Is that just firing off drugs inside of his system? That's cool. Have I mentioned that I have totally lost the needle inside of him? Now, I'll be honest with you folks, I'm not an actual where to go. There it is. I'll be honest with you folks, not a real surgeon. I've never even been in a hospital before. I'm going to go to jail. As soon as I... Excuse me. Excuse me. What? What's that doing? Um, I'm sure that's fine now. And if I could just stab myself with some more drugs, I'd be in prime position to pinky out. I'd be in prime position. Prime position. Please, thank you. 
Now that we've nearly ruined this man's life, the next step is going to be to break the ribs, which I'm sure I was supposed to have done in the beginning. In order to do this, you take your happy hammer. Your happy hammer. Excuse me, your happy hammer. Thank you. And you drop it in the chest cavity. You use this to get a better grip on the handle, which is eluding you like a son of a bitch. After expertly, expertly, expertly turning the hammer, you get it into you get it into pickaxe motion, and you begin lightly tapping the ribs. You do this to know that they are about to be taken out by force, and then you cause severe internal bleeding. You drop the hammer because you realize that was a dumb idea. You grab the saw again. The saw again. You take this beaker. You tell it to F off. You grab the saw again. Students, keep this in mind. And you just saw the ribs apart. As well as half the man's torso. Now that the first rib is removed, it's time to... It's time... Now that the first rib is removed, you throw it that way. The next step to any good surgery is to flip off the patient. F.U. patient. And again, I'm not wearing gloves. Now, it's pretty clear that there's a lot of things inside of this man's chest cavity now. And as any good surgeon should do, sterilization is the key. So you dump ear cleaners next to the wound. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the next step to any successful surgery is to grab this thing, drop it in the chest cavity, and then realize your mistake and throw it. Remember the hammer? We're going to try that again. We're going to try that again. No, we're not. I guess the hammer didn't want any of that. Next thing you do is knock over another beaker. And you grab the whirly spinny thing. The whirly spinny thing. The whirly spinny thing, thank you. This was the key to my first surgery that was totally also not malpractice. Now that you've crushed the ribs, you make sure you do the same to all the other internal organs. We are spinning whirly. The man's losing blood again. Nurse, we're gonna lose him. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Get out of there. Hey, look, my spoon. Can't grab it still. The man's doomed at this point. So as a final act of defiance against big medicine, I'm going to claw desperately and attempt to remove bones from his body. Excuse me. I'm going to cut my hand really badly, except that I'm apparently immortal. The last thing you do is you cause a big soupy mess by dropping that inside of him and walking away. What went wrong? The man died. It was going so well. Remember that time the man came in here and I murdered him? Me too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you surgery. Thank you so much for liking. I'm assuming you're going to like this. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm positive you're going to subscribe as well. And if you don't, Sad Piano will play through... Let me try that again. Sad Piano will play through the background of your life for the rest of your life. If you do subscribe to me, then we were best friends. Not friends, that slot's already been taken. I'm Dr. Dozer MD. Out.